Welcome to the construct mortal. The elegance of living within a gilded, holy sphere of beautiful divine wonderment on earth is a gift well enjoyed by those who exhibit such fortune. Yeah, we 
patient fills. Gotta hold him with the penalty vectors. It takes a man of rugged guts and steel to last the endurance of a long range space flight. Especially during the lonely hours. So listen to what I have to say. Respect the people who create the dashboards on the spaceships and films and cinema. They are software engineers of their own beauty. And we are caught in an immaculate dream of so many fancies. It is hard to describe the awesomenessity of reality under divinity with theology close to our hearts beating paradoxically in a multidimensional time phenomenally echo vectors we got this now we want to your positions you know exactly what to do good We've had this little dialogue today, species of humanity. This totality of oratory has finally rendered its position as all too clear unto truth and witness under the divine sky and the heavenly tapestry. We all wonder, children, caught between the flakes of our own miracles, wondering. Through time, blessing the Lord with every gilded breath. We are the sons of the apocalypse. We are the illuminated ones. Well, that went quite well. I already came in to grab a beer. Time before us laid out like a miracle tapestry, the very echo of issue is not for any worry. There is time before time, there is reality beyond reality, there is existence, a wealth of existence within the crumb of a patient Eternia. We are one now, in the gilded skies, and they come to us, the holy angels teach us not to smoke in bed. So here we go again. I didn't want to have to do this. We gotta do this, because I'm a great filmmaker. And I know how to make awesome films. And given the success of Cooking of the Chips Part 2, Chip Wild One, I've dared to make a third part in now the trilogy of Cooking the Chips. I'm cooking the chips, Clarice. Do you smell them? So innocent, aren't you? You foolish woman. Now come. This is a horrible aspect of the entire chaos that goes into making films. We have to make a third part of a good few minutes long of cooking the chips. And we have to try and make it exciting we have to try and make it watchable and we have to try and make it better than part one and part two I'm not sure I can pull it off but I'm going to try because I believe I believe in the way the way of virtue of goodness of wonderment of grace of blessed blessed things drifting that's the name of curry. But we can't afford curry. 
You can only afford potatoes in chip form. Looking rough out there, Johnson. It's looking rough. The fiscal field values are down to an economic debris. The food is limited in supplies and the people are fat and lazy and ill. We have to work out some kind of methodology by which to continue society and sustenance pattern. We have to make the kids realize the power of work, discipline, good honor, and uh, labor as a concept of actuality, not political labor. But there we go, drifting into this innocent infinity, wafting planes of truth about substance as every drop of immortality strikes its core upon my psyche and I am here here alone among the ballet chips but they will be caught of that I have no doubt and in this it's just a game of patience man this is a waiting game fucking waiting game See, the situation is, you've got to get exactly the right amount of heat in those babies to cook them crisp and delicious so they're really tasty and they don't taste like shit. McDonald's do it all the time. McDonald's excel in cooking agreeable chips to the palate, but not as good as triple cooked chips in high class restaurants. Never mind. And that's still a subject to feel into its entire self. We trip on. Like a mad as a coffin full of lemons. We must conclude the trilogy. So it's been a while. It's been a while since we've been cooking these babies and uh, I don't know how long we've been here exactly but you know, looking back, I guess I could have done things a little bit differently. But what I do believe, fervently, from the core of my soul, is I believed with faith in the Lord above at every aspect of my confusion and my bewilderment into truth and reality and the unknown. It was incredible. It was real. It was actuality defined within the supernatural level under God as a witness to his light powers and miracles. But no, the psychiatric field and the secular community can't take easy to such knowledge of epiphanies. They render me thus to lunacy and barbarous isolation. But at least I have the chips. And I mean that, Brody. You may have your surfboard, but I've got the chips. And I'm happier with the chips than I am with the surfboard. Because I just think they're tastier. And I don't have to go out into the sea to use them. They are the pomme de terre, the apple of the earth, the fruit of the soil. They come in a variety of ways. I am resplendent and joy to enjoy every single yummy crumb of them. Alas, the patience game straining on the balls, man, straining on the balls. Can't take it, can't take it, they can't fucking take it, man. Too much, it's too much, too much reality. Rendered in a latent sky, in a liftless, with the heart of texture applied to its beautiful soul. But there we are. There we are indeed, my friends. Still waiting. Waiting. Waiting for the cooking of the chips. 
I don't know how much longer I can wait in patience, my friends, as much as you. But in this, I say this only. There has to be a reason for everything. Why else are we here? It would seem logical, looking at you know, the evidence around me and around you, that we are defo here for a reason, whatever that reason is. And we might not easily discover that reason immediately, but if we keep the faith and hold on, we'll find many reasons potentially. Some may say laden with miraculous knowledge. <laughs> but who can handle the power of this true virtue? Me? Who am I to know there is a God? <sighs> it comes to such monumental indifference at the end of days as to the psychology of others and I apply my sufferance with a disregard for my own issues and only hope well for my loved ones if we can get through this we can get through anything and it's a long endurance task and one not without merit for the time is at hand Evidence of reality is thus the spectacular, the phenomenal, the incredulous, the wonderful. We are present in the very dust of time, sentient as liquid module forms. It's astonishing the presence we can wield as spirit knowledge. I've said too much. Gotta get out of here. Gotta read that to my veins. I mean, I need a solution, man. I need a solution quick and now. But I don't know if I've got it, you know? On one hand, you know, with this, that, and the other. And then on the next hand, you're out of the game. I don't get it. I don't like it. It's too much of a play. Too much of a feel pattern. Don't want that shit in my brain. I just need the chips, man. I need to eat food. I'm starving, man. I'm so fucking hungry, man. Right. Okay. I just need to get through this. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. We're halfway to that, at least. The time planes are approaching. I can feel their encroaching Everyone's darling Love is divine Such truth, such wonder Such passion are yonder And therein you see such dreams But the gracious, the lordly The wonder, the folly The evidence in her scream but you don't hear that. No, 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 you don't hear her screams. It just rhymes, it just rhymes with the word I invented. And it had to scam, to scam. But now it sounds like a horror of evil cooking our fucking chips. I'm really ashamed of myself. I'm really shocked with myself that I admitted such But never mind, never mind to the coolness of the everwhere. We're here today to celebrate forever. We can do this, baby. I've got a feeling we can do this. I'm just holding on, you know, holding on for good vectors, good life, good measure. Any one time, uh, you know, I remember Floozy once, she liked me. I like her too. I'm going in for the inspection, hold on. Listen, I don't know what I'm doing either, Clarice. But I've got to have a look. If I can look, I can ascertain exactly how the situation might be. I don't need any neurosis right now. Okay, they're not quite up to scratch. 
but they're looking pretty cool. I can see we've definitely got the development of Cooking with Chips Part 3. Chip Fury. Ah, but is it Chip Fury? Is it the rage people seek to desire in their mirror neurons when they watch antagonistic drama and violent episodes of darker things? They are the dark arts in the apocalypse, my friend, I believe. And it could cast many to hell in potential theorem of divine revelation under the prophecy. We must appreciate the value of the good things in this good life. Like chips. And the fact that I need a bowl. Now, I wonder. I have a bowl. Once again, evidence. The new star bridge provides everything you need whenever you need it. I needed a bow. I needed some chips. I made the chips and they will go in the bow when they are ready. And then they will be ready soon. I can feel it. I have no fear. I'm ready. Ready to consume the immaculate goodness of the Holy Lord's offering. I will be welcome and present to this glory. There can be no stopping me now from eating my supper. Hurrah! We have met the world in fine regard and head on. There is no denying the sheer cookery skills I employ at this rate. But in that, I say this, there may not be much time. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just all voodoo, you know. Maybe it's just all bullshit. When you stand into a heaven's cup, and you got good providence of food looming back out of you with its energy vectors and jewels of variables, ready to make you feel better and consume you in liveliness. Well, that ain't conspiracy to me. That's care in the community, and I recommend it to everybody. Because, you know, Sainsbury's sell worthy McCain's fries. And I always like eating them. And if I'm lucky, I'll have a steak with a pepper sauce. But you know, what the fuck? I didn't expect that. I'm glad we sorted that out. I could have soaked my chip. God damn it. Now, is this bowl clean now or not? I trust it is. I've been through enough bowls and man, my man, Fran. But, um, you know, I needed my dummy fat too many times as a kid. It took me years before I lost my dummy as a child. I had one until I was like the age of five. Okay, the situation's looking good. We're looking all right, we're doing okay. I think we're gonna make this through. Traditional standard employment features are relevant. Time is a memorial. All knowledge is now defined as witness to the salvation of glory. Now we haven't got much time left. So I'm gonna go for a, a dispatch sequence uh, at a random unit of sequencializations. And if I fuck it up, which I probably will, I need to really know what I'm doing. I, I need a towel. I need a, oh, look, again, the new star lamp. That's provided a towel so I can pull out the chip pan. When it gets to days like this of excitement and thrill, I just, I just lose it with the light in everything. Life, the universe, heaven, God, wonders, miracles, dreams, salvation. There is so much to be thankful for. And there is so much to pray for. If we knew how to pray from the base of our soul and not our mind. Pray from your soul and you get results. I've seen it quite a few times. 
Maybe not a thousand, but quite a few times. Okay, I think we're looking good. What we're gonna do is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this up, and then we're gonna get me looking and putting these chips into the goddamn bowl. And this is shit like reality. Oh my gosh. 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 Oh, we're getting a little frisky there, baby. We're getting a little frisky there on the chip design development. And, uh, whew. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is just truth emanating by the uh, hands of witness. What we got here is a system of chips, and they're not as cooked as I like. Hmm, interesting. They're crisp around the edge, but a little molten in the middle, and, and it's not quite crispy enough. So I'm a little disappointed about that. And I hope you're not, because really, when it comes to the third part in a trilogy, you're up against stiff competition to can improve on the original seminal formats of genius that have gone before. I cite Return of the Jedi and The Last Crusade, however, as excellent examples of three part three films, which were excellent. Die Hard 3 was also incredible. And so, there are other examples, by the way. Other examples where the third part in a sequence of films has been immeasurably brilliant. And people have delighted in it. I have the perfect example. Toy Story 3. Toy Story 3 is a monumental work of art. It's a monumental piece of cinema. And I was honoured the day I saw it, and I knew humanity was in good hands, and everything was a okay. Genie I make stuff like Toy Story 3. Honestly, for that 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 scene at the sequence at the end was just so ingenious, so brilliant. I was honoured to be a Westerner.